Mr. Wolf and I form is the bandages for the corridors and they will reach a sliding door. This is the onsite doctor's office. Having said that, they opened the door and walked inside. I'm here for pain meds. I feel we are only coming for those later. I was, but then Miss Archer fell down the stairs, so I figured I'd just kill two berries with one stone. The doctor immediately ushered me into the room and onto one of the beds. Where does it hurt? Did you hit your head? My jaw. My pain meds? The doctor shoved a condor into Mr. Bandage's hand and shot him out the door. Right, now you were saying? I'm fine, it's just my jaw that's a bit sore. She fell and kissed Mr. Voldemort. Oh my! Kissed? Yeah, your lips and his mad and... Most painful kiss I've ever had. Right, it, well, it doesn't sound like anything too bad still. To be on the safe side, you should probably stay here for a while. As for your Mr. Uh, Wolf, is it? Unless you have any injuries, it may be best that you leave Miss Archer to get some rest. Oh, okay, feel better soon, Miss Archer. I'll try to. Doctor, hand me a double and some water. This should help with the pain. Thanks. I know the medication before snuggling under the covers and falling asleep. When I woke up, the first thing I noticed was the calm rooting in a chair by my bedside. The second thing I noticed was that the doctor wasn't in the room. Where? He's off searching for Eric. Someone let's leave that he also fell down those stairs. Um, wait, how do you know about that? Gossip travels fast. I hear that you kissed Eric and I miss it. I almost regret not tagging along. So, how was it? How was what? The kiss. I don't remember what should I what should I add? Mm. Let's try what kiss. I will know from his reaction. I may as well have collided with a floor. He said it was certainly hard enough. Your lips locked. That makes it a kiss. No, it's not. By your logic, I kiss everything my lips come into contact with. Well, that... I love my food, but I don't make a habit of kissing it. So... It wasn't premeditated? I'm not throwing myself down the stairs for any guy. No matter how hot he is. I think we did the right. I think we did... Uh, cho chose the right thing. He let out a low chuckle. The other day you said he was creepy and now he's hot. Those are not mutually exclusive. He can be hot and creepy, although I don't quite think of him as creepy anymore. Because he saved you from plummeting down the stairs? No, not just that. Oh. I met him and he wasn't quite what I expected. Oh, how so? Well, he wasn't the flash guy that did the opening speech. He was more real. I kind of like the guy behind the mask. He kind of reminded me of you though. I'm honored to be compared to the great Eric Valdemar. You're doing that again. Doing what? Hiding behind a mask. Why do the two of you do it? 
For a moment, he looked at me inquisitively. Then he leaned in close and whispered softly in my ear. Sometimes it's easier to be someone you're not than be rejected for who you are. With that, he got up with a huge smile on his face. I'm glad you're feeling better, Miss Archer. Please don't take any more tumbles downstairs, although if you really want to throw yourself at a man, I'll be happy to welcome you with open arms. Now, I'll leave you to rest before the doctor returns and kicks me out. <laughs>